right, so one more um, review set to do before you have all the knowledge you need to do the homework for this chapter. In this one, they want you to practice writing some natural, harmonic, and melodic versions of a minor scale. And the first thing they want you to do is make sure you start with a key signature. It's key signature. But you know the first thing to do is to write in those notes. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Line, space, line, space, etc. For all of these, and for this one, remember melodics, we have to see it go up and down. So you're going to have to write the uh, notes in there, but try to leave room for any dynamics, or not dynamics, any accidentals that you're going to have to make sure that you have room for that. So this will be kind of scrunched up together. Sorry about that. So E minor, what's the key signature for E minor? It's the same as G major, which is one sharp, F sharp. So that's already in the key signature. And natural minors follow the key signature, so this one should be correct. A harmonic minor has a raised seventh, so it has an F sharp from the key signature, and we need to raise the seventh, which is D, so there should be a sharp in front of your D. A melodic minor has a raised sixth and seventh, so in addition to the D sharp like this one had, there should be a C sharp, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, with then coming back down, D natural, C natural, and then B, A, G, F sharp, E. G minor, of course you write in G to G, G to G, G up to G and back. The key signature for G minor is the same as B flat major. So this needs a B flat and an E flat. And if we follow the key signature here, it's fine. G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G. Harmonic minor means we raise the seventh note. So G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F becomes F sharp in G. And melodic, we raise the sixth and seventh. So G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat becomes E natural. F is F sharp, G. But on the way back down, G returns to F. E returns to E flat like normal. So we probably need to put a natural and a flat in front of them to show it's clear. And then D, C, B flat, A, G just like this one was coming down, and this one for that matter. B flat minor has the same key signature as D flat major. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. Now if you've got all these key signatures memorized, that would be easy. If you don't, you might have to go through here with your whole step, half step, whole step, etc. pattern to figure out what the flats are, and then you can see, oh my gosh, there's five, so it's B, E, A, D, G for this one. So when you've written it down, it will be B-flat, C, D-flat, E-flat, F, G, A-flat, B-flat, no way I made a mistake. B-flat, C, D-flat, E-flat, F, G-flat, A-flat, B-flat, but you won't have all those flats in front of there because it's back here in the key signature. Harmonic minor will have the raised seventh, B-flat, C, D-flat, E-flat, F, G-flat, A-natural, added on, just the A-natural there in B-flat. But the only thing you should see here is a natural mark here. In fact, if we have a key signature, we don't really even need that. And for melodic minor, B flat C, D flat E flat, F natural, add G natural, add A natural, B flat, and then go back to A flat, G flat, F, E flat, D flat, C, B flat. Descending is the same as this one over here. Now we're writing all the melodic minor, ascending and descending, pretty much what you were doing before. I guess they want to make sure you can do it. So D harmonic minor. D, you write in E, F, G, A, B, C, and there's D. And coming down, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, right? Did we do D minor over here? Seems like we did. Nope, sorry. All right, so D minor, this key signature for D minor is the same as F major. One flat, B flat. D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D would be the normal thing, all right? And so they have not said that they want key signatures, so you put the B flat there to make that clear. But we've got to raise that, right? So instead of B flat, it's going to be B natural. The C will be C sharp and D. So ascending melodic minor, D, E, F, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Descending is just like the, uh, the natural minor. D, C, B flat, A, G, F, E, 
D for that one. Let's do it again. D, E, F, G, A, B natural, C sharp, D. D, C natural, B flat, A, G, F, E, D. And this is F sharp melodic minor. Of course, we're going to write in all the letters. F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. And over here, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F. F sharp minor has the same key signature as A major, their relatives. So the key signature is F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. So you could just put F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp, and you'd be ready to go. Because your scale would be F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp. Ready to go as far as natural minor goes. But we want melodic minor, so we have to raise the sixth and seventh note. D and E become D sharp and E sharp. So now our scale is F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp. Descending, they go back where they were. So F sharp, E natural, D natural, and then C sharp, B, A, G sharp, F sharp, just like a natural minor scale would be. F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E natural, D natural, C sharp, B, A, G sharp, and F sharp. And now we have another little exercise. We have to look at these things and decide, is it major? Is it one of the forms of uh, the minor, natural, harmonic, or melodic? And just like we did before, we're going to look at the notes from one to three and figure out what that is. And if it's, uh, if it's whole step, half step, or a minor third from here to here, then it's some kind of minor. If it's whole step, whole step, and a major third then, then it's some kind of major. So here we have C, whole step, D to E flat, half step. That's a minor third. This is a minor scale of some kind. So C minor, C what kind of minor? Well, let's look up here. Seven to eight, that's a half step. So we know it is not natural minor. Hmm. A to B, that's a whole step. So that tells us this is melodic minor because harmonic minor would have an augmented second there. So this is C melodic minor. Even though they don't show us show it going down, it doesn't matter. Let's look at this one. F sharp, G sharp, A. F sharp to A is a minor third. Whole step, the half step. So we know this is minor of some kind. F sharp, something minor. Up here, E sharp to F sharp, that is a half step. So we know it has to be either harmonic or melodic. If it's harmonic, this will be an augmented second, three half steps, D sharp, E, E sharp. No, that's just two half steps. That's a whole step. So this is a whole step. This is a half step. That means this is melodic minor. So this is F sharp melodic minor. D to F, whole step, half step, minor third. This again is a minor scale of some kind. C sharp to D, that's the leading tone, half step down. So it's either melodic or harmonic. B flat to C sharp. Well, that is an augmented second. Augmented second can only happen in harmonic minor scales and only happen between six and seven. So that is D harmonic minor. E to G, whole step, half step, minor third. This is another minor one. E something minor. Let's see up here. D to E, that's a whole step. The uh, harmonics and melodics have a half step there. So if that's a whole step, this must be E natural minor. And I can even check, say, hmm, E natural minor, what's the key signature for the relative major? G major, which is one sharp F sharp, which is all we see here. So that is E natural minor. B flat to D, whole step, whole step, major third. Finally, this is a major third. So if this is going to be one of those four, it has to be B flat major scale. A to C is a minor third, whole step and half step, three half steps total. So this is A something minor. You look up here, there's that leading tone again, half step away. So it's either harmonic minor or melodic minor, F sharp to G sharp, whole step, half step. That is definitely melodic minor. If it was harmonic minor, there'd be an augmented second right there.